So welcome back. Today we are given some preliminary idea regarding the sections of solids based on basic concept regarding the sections of solids. Today we will discuss the one simple problem from sections of solids. And you should remember there are basically six points that you have to keep in mind while solving the problems from this particular chapter. So today we will take a simple case, a prism, a triangular prism is being cut by a section plane inclined to HP, say 40 degree to HP and bisecting the axis. So this is our process, triangular prism cut by a section plane 45 degree to HP bisecting the axis. So, the first thing is draw the plan and elevation as per the required convention. Here, one side of the triangular prism is parallel to VP. Then, the second step is draw the cutting plane as per the required condition. So, I am drawing the cutting plane 40 degree to HP and bisecting the axis. Okay. Bisecting the axis. And after that you should draw the portion below this cutting plane as dark lines. So this line should be darker. Now the third step is Identify the cutting points. What is cutting point? Cutting point is the intersection of the cutting plane with the edges. Here you can see that in order to cut the solid fully, the cutting plane should cut the three longer edges of this triangular prism. Okay. So the, the number of cutting points are three in this case. Now suppose if we take a, in the case of a square prism, you can see that in order to cut the square prism fully, the, there are four number of cutting points here 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what we are understood from this is the number of cutting points will be equal to the number of longer edges for the case of a prism. Okay. So here, I will be marking the cutting points, the cutting plane is cutting the edge longer at C dash, R dash at here, so I am marking this as say 1 dash, because it is the elevation, cutting the A dash, P dash edge at 2, I can mark it as 2 dash, this point as 3 dash, since there are 3 longer edges, so the number of cutting points are equal to 3. After that, you find the, the third step is after that, find the top view of these cutting points. So 1 dash is along the line C dash R dash, so the top view of the point C dash R dash is here, since 1 dash is also along this line, the top view of the point 1 dash will be along with C and R. Similarly, the top view of the point 2 dash will be along with A and P. Then the top view of the point 3 dash will be along with B and Q. Then you join the points 1, 2 and 3. And this 1, 2, 3 will form the sectional top view of the cut surface. And this sectional top view will be usually represented at, with hatching lines. The angle of hatching will be 45 degree to the nearest reference line. Nearest reference line is this one. We will take 45 degree to this reference line. So this is your sectional top 
and this is your sectional front view. Now the final thing is we have to find out the true shape of the section. Yesterday I have given the idea regarding the true shape. Now 